Ready, set, go, ready, set. It's the Ready, Set, Go show. Ready, set, go, ready, set, go. It's the Ready, Set, Go show. Ready, set, go, ready, set. It's the Ready, Set, Go show. Ready, set, go, ready, set, go. It's the Ready, Set, Go show. Everybody now. Ready, set, go, ready, set. It's the Ready, Set, Go show. Ready, set, go, ready, set, go. It's the Ready, Set, Go show. What? Stop? No, go. And now it's time for the Ready, Set, Go show with Miss Katie. Today, for our movement activity, we are going to go through the life cycle of a butterfly. I have a song that tells about each part, starting with the egg. When I sing about the egg, you can wrap yourself into a tiny ball by hugging your knees and putting your head on the knees too. And then you become a caterpillar. So you can lie down on your tummy and roll around with your arms at your side and your legs straight out and together. For the part where you make a chrysalis, you can get back into the tiny ball. And then when it says you have wings, you stand up and flap your wings and pretend to fly around. You get to keep flying for the last two verses when it talks about being a monarch butterfly. Ready? Here we go. I used to be a little white egg on the bottom of a leaf of milkweed. I used to be a little white egg on the bottom of a leaf of milkweed. But then I changed, I changed, oh I changed, I changed. Now I'm different, different as can be. I used to be a striped caterpillar munching on a leaf of milkweed. I used to be a striped caterpillar munching on a leaf of milkweed. Then I changed, I changed, oh I changed, I changed. Now I'm different, different as can be. I made a house called a chrysalis to transform more way more. I made a house called a chrysalis to transform more, way more. Yes, I've changed, I've changed, oh, i changed, i changed. Now I'm different, different as can be. Now I've got wings, black and orange wings, and I can fly so high. I've got wings, black and orange wings, and I can fly so high. Yes, I've changed, I've changed, oh, I've changed, I've changed. Now I'm different, different as can be. For I'm a monarch butterfly. I visit fields and gardens too. So plant some milkweed if you want me to come and visit you. Yes, I'm a monarch butterfly. I visit fields and gardens too. So plant some milkweed if you want me to come. Today we have a story about change and trust, and my friends Janie and Peaches are going to help me with the characters today. But first, the story song. Now sit back, relax, off we go. Sit back and relax, off we go. It's a special time, one of the best times of the day. It's time to listen, listen to a story. Hooray! Once upon a time, there were two milkweed seeds. They were resting on the same branch of a big milkweed plant. One said to the other, Just look at our beautiful fluff. Did you know that most seeds don't even have fluff? And I just love how my body is so hard and round. The other seed said, I've heard that one day we're going to lose our fluff and even split open. The wind will make us fly away and we'll land right on the ground. Fly away? I don't want to go anywhere. This is my home and you are my friend. But it was true. 
One day, a strong whooshing wind swooped the seeds up off the milkweed plant and their fluff helped them sail away to a new place on the ground. A few days later, their outsides cracked open and then something new began to happen. Parts grew down and other parts grew up. Soon these parts were way bigger than the seeds had ever been. They grew and grew and grew. The days became longer and warmer and they grew even more. The part that went down in the dirt drew up water and nutrients, and the part that went up made bright green leaves which collected sunlight. One day, big, beautiful flowers started to open, and many kinds of butterflies, bees, and other insects came to drink nectar and chomp on the leaves. Monarch butterflies laid their eggs on the bottoms of the leaves, and then one by one the eggs became tiny caterpillars. The caterpillars munched on the leaves and became bigger and stronger each day. One caterpillar said to another, Hey, I've heard we're supposed to form a chrysalis where we will completely dissolve and then turn into something new. We won't even see the sun or eat any leaves. The other caterpillar said, Well, how will we ever survive? They kept munching and growing, munching and growing. One day, they just knew it was time, and so they made chrysalids on a nearby fence. Many days passed, and finally they were ready to crack open the chrysalids. Now they really were something completely new. They had gone in caterpillars and come out butterflies. The old friends met again on the same milkweed plants, which used to be tiny seeds, but they weren't caterpillars munching on leaves anymore. They were butterflies fluttering around and eating nectar from the flowers. At times, it was hard for the milkweed seeds and the monarch caterpillars to trust that everything would be okay. There were such big changes to make. It was scary to change. But day by day, the changes happened, and in the end, it was beautiful. The End Hi, everybody. We are going to talk about monarch butterflies and pollinator gardens. Janie is our guest, and she is the first person I ever knew who decided to make her yard into a pollinator garden. That's a habitat made especially for butterflies and bees. Well, hi, Janie. Hello, Miss Katie. So what made you decide to make a pollinator garden? When I moved to my house, I chose to not have grass, not have a lawn to mow and to take care of. Instead, I wanted to welcome bees and butterflies. That is such a fun idea. Why is it important to have pollinator plants that attract bees and butterflies? They are so helpful to everybody's gardens and fruit trees. Do you eat fruit, apples or pears? Do you eat vegetables? They take the food that those plants need and give it to them. So what did you have to do to make the garden? Two men helped me. One knew all about pollinator plants. He helped me shop and buy the plants. The other man brought a big tool called a plow, and he plowed all the lawn and took out all the Bermuda grass. The next thing they did was fun. They planted red clover, and it grew and flowered red, red, red all over. Next, they plowed again and took the clover out and any spare Bermuda. Then they planted all the pollinator plants. What time of year do you start seeing bees and butterflies? Bees and butterflies come when it's warm enough, in the springtime, when it's not going to freeze them and they begin to look around for goodies to drink and eat. Do you have any bees and butterflies right now in mid-November? Yes, there are still a few, especially smaller butterflies and a few bees. What kind of flowers do the butterflies like best? They have really enjoyed in the springtime gallardia, that makes flowers early. And then in the summer, I planted some that grow tall. They're taller than some of you kids, I think. And they make big uh, flowers that are yellow and orange 
and purple, and the butterflies love those in the summer. Then and now they love asters. I have purple asters blooming, blooming, and they come there. What about the bees? Do they like the same flowers or yes, different flowers? They like those plus some other ones that I planted for sure. Well, I know there's some kids in your neighborhood. Have they ever visited your garden? They sure have. They've come to look at those busy, busy bees, and they've come to look at all the different size butterflies that have come, the little ones, the middle-sized ones, and then the big stars, the monarchs. Do you have any advice for kids who might want to start a pollinator garden? You can start it in a big pot to start with. Your mommy and daddy could buy a big pot and the soil and go to a pollinator plant store. What will grow first? That's great. Well, thank you so much for having a habitat for bees and butterflies. That's really important. And thank you so much for joining us on the show today. You're welcome. I'm glad to be here. Have fun, kids. Now it's time to make the world a better place. I am smart, I am kind, I am good. I'm creative and I'm strong, so I should. Know my words make a difference and my actions too. I'll make the world a better place, that's what I'm going to do. Janie, what are you going to do to make the world a better place today? Today is sunny and mild. I get to go outside and gather the fallen leaves and I'm going to put them in my flower beds so the birds and insects have a place to shelter. That sounds like a great idea. How about you, Miss Katie? Well, I'm going to go on a walk and I am going to pick up at least 10 pieces of trash on the street so that I can put them in the trash can back at home. When I'm outside or inside, I think, learn, and grow. When I'm outside or inside, there's so much to know and do and think and play. Yay for today! The inside activity for you is drawing or painting a picture of a caterpillar munching on milkweed leaves. Monarch caterpillars have black, white, and yellow stripes. You can also draw or paint monarch butterflies flying around milkweed flowers. Their wings are black and orange. Milkweed flowers come in all different colors and sizes. I have one type in my garden called Swamp Milkweed, which has purple flowers, and another kind called Butterfly Weed has bright orange flowers. For the outside activity, you get to run around like a monarch butterfly, flap your arms like they are wings, and pretend to fly by running fast. If there are some bushes or trees, you can run from one to the other to see if you can find any blooms that have nectar to eat. Figure out which direction is north and which direction is south. Then pretend it is springtime and you are migrating north by running in that direction and then pretend that it's fall and run south. Don't forget to keep flapping your arms like they're wings. In some places, a lot of leaves have fallen. If you live in a place where there are a lot of leaves on the ground, you can rake some up in a pile and jump into it. After you're done playing, ask a parent if you can put some of the leaves in your flower beds to protect them for the winter. Leaving the leaves in your yard can help birds and insects survive the winter. Thank you so much for listening to the Ready, Set, Go show today. I hope that you have a wonderful day noticing all the changes that come with the fall season. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. Thank you for doing all the things that you do. Until the next time, hope you have a lot of fun. Remember to be kind to everyone. Bye-bye. The Ready, Set, Go show is part of the Possibilities podcast platform.